Kareem, what's going on, bud? This is Brinson Smith. I am uh, the guy with a 1990 E30 M3 in Orlando, Florida. Um, I just wanted to take a video for you so you can see what the car looks like, what type of shape it is in, and uh, it'll give you a, a better idea. Um, if you want to come down here, please do. You're welcome to come down. Love to, to have you, um, or hopefully this helps. Um, here is the trunk. I wanted to just show you the trunk uh, space so you can see. That's the um, brilliant red underneath. Okay, so original paint, original spare, original red. I got a new battery over here um, that seems to be holding the charge just fine. So we'll see. Um, wanted to show you here on the trunk. Original red down there in the, there is the VIN as you can see. I don't know if you can read that. So that's the VIN. I don't have any of the tools. I just have one wrench. All right. And that is the Super Sprint exhaust. So it's got Super Sprint exhaust on it. As you can see, there's some red areas in the rear bumper here. Um, it was raining out, so there's a little bit of water and stuff on the car, and it isn't, you know, the cleanest shape. But those are the wheels. Uh, Miglia 1000 wheels all the way around. Uh, the tire tread, as you can see, is decent on the tread. Still got some tread there. All right, here's the passenger door. As you can see, little yellowing in the door um, and the panels. As you can see in the in the door jams there, you see a little bit of the red in there. Interior carpet's okay. Um, you know, typical aging carpet. Back seat carpet. All right. Speakers, everything back there. Headliner's good. Headliner, okay. Right. there's the UUC shifter and I um, also have an aftermarket radio in there as well so now to move on to the other side um, here's the rust I was telling you about a little bit of rust about I'd say five inches there and then a little bit uh, right here on that seam right there there's a little bit of red uh, chipping and stuff right here on the windshield small crack right here in the middle of the windshield see the crack some chipping right here and some bubbling on the sunroof which is an easy fix as you know not a big deal and then now to the engine part um, engine runs solid it's a well running engine it's a well running engine fans kicking in right now it's been idling a little bit There's the front, it's got the Euro, the smiley lights. Um, there's a little chipping right here and you know, paint on the front. There's some chipping, chipping there. There's the adjustable uh, fuel regulator right there, BMP. As you can see, brilliant trot, a little bit of red coming through. There's the cold air intake there, all right. Hood is now closed. All right, you can see the rotors on the front are slotted, Miglia 1000s. Uh, front tires are pretty rough, there's some dry rot on them, um, but there is a little bit of tread. All right, as you see down here, there's a little red underneath, a little red in the back, some red right here on the door jam, and then a little bit of red there. All right. Front driver's seat, rough. There's some rough tears and stuff in the seat, just like I told you. Here, the bezel ring uh, popped out, and I think I might have it, but it still works. It just popped out, so it's kind of loose. Um, show you the back seat here. Back seat, carpet, everything there, okay? Um, it's got the ABS steering wheel, the shift boot, and the e-brake boot, I think are at my dad's house. I gotta find those, but I'm gonna give it a, uh, give it a little spin here. Take it for a ride. All right. 
so. Windows. All right. So odometer stopped at 169. I'm gonna just take it for a quick spin. Hey Grant, you wanna come with me so you can video it? I'm gonna have my buddy video it so I can drive. That would probably be a smart thing to do. Driver's um, window there. Sunroof, cream, works. So there's the sunroof, everything's good there. All right, Grant, just kind of keep it kind of towards the dash, kind of this area. All right. All right. All I don't have too much gas cream, so I'm not going to go on an expedition or anything, but give you a feel of how the car's running. up the other thing uh, only other thing I know this isn't a big deal to you is this this button's stuck most of them are stuck but uh, this one's stuck on the, the window here and uh, the steering's a little loose I think it could be a tie rod or uh, the steering rack. I was going to put an E36 M3 steering rack in it, but I decided to just keep the E30, uh, you know, the, the rack in it because, you know, I haven't been driving it lately. But if I kept it, I would have put a different steering rack in the car. As you can see, it's idling right around 1,000, um, and the temperature is good. Um, you know, it's right around the halfway point to under the halfway point. Good power. Downshift in the second. Downshift in the first. And back down right, right below 1,000 RPMs at idle. Shifter, the shifter's incredible. 